Hey, what's up folks? Mike Locke here, ML Web Consulting. Thanks for checking out this video. So I wanted to kind of show you how to put together a brochure in Adobe Illustrator and uh, how you go about using PNG files and graphics, let's say within Photoshop or Fireworks, and how to integrate those into Adobe Illustrator to create nice brochures. Now here's a here's a, an example of a brochure that I did for a recent client of mine. Uh, it looks very uh, complicated, but at the end of the day, it's it's really simple and using simple um, simple techniques and images and just in you know inserting them into Adobe Illustrator to create um, you know a, a nice a nice brochure. So first thing you do, you know, you create a new document, and in this case, we're going to do uh, letter size which is eight and a half by eleven and we're gonna choose landscape what I what I do is a lot of times people get confused and think that just because you have all these nice little graphics and things like that you have to actually create that in Adobe Illustrator but that's not really the case what I did was I utilize I utilize iStock photo and what I do is I download graphics that I need and then integrate those into my uh, Adobe Illustrator. So in this case, I went about and downloaded, I can't find this in, in Adobe, I mean in iStock Photo right now, but I went ahead and downloaded this image here, which if I blow this up, you see it's a nice, uh, nice graphic with a blue wave. And this is basically a, a, the, the concept that my client was looking for. So I was able to find this image in iSoc Photo, and then I then downloaded this image. Um, and uh, I, I actually, when you when you when you're creating a brochure, you want to be sure that you download. Like, let's say you're downloading this particular image right here. If you download this image and you're creating a brochure, you want to be sure to get the the larger size. Um, you want to go with something a little larger something maybe um, like this this size here the medium size which is 7, 1700 in pixels in width and uh, if you go with something like that then you'll be able to use that in a, in a large scale print um, and it'll, it'll print uh, a little bit better than that small image so so once you have that image you go over to Adobe Illustrator and all you do is go file place and then you get your background and you place it on your canvas. Okay, that's all there is to it. That's the first step. Scale this down a little bit. And if you do control Y, you'll see where your image, this is your outline of your canvas, and you'll see your image on the outside of that. You just do control Y again and it com comes back. And then you can scale your image down to however you want it and kind of position it, you know, how how you see fit. Okay? So that's that's the background image so far alright so the next step is let's go to our our brochure and kinda take a look and see what we got here you see this little the bottom floor looks like a dance floor it seems like it seems very complicated uh, you know with the end result but it's really simple all it is I went ahead and, and found a dance floor image in iSoc photo that I was able to use so Let's go over here to to uh, to Fireworks, which is is the graphics program uh, you know of choice that I use. A lot of people use Photoshop. I use Fireworks, so uh, pretty much they do the same things. And uh, but what I do is I go ahead and grab my image. I downloaded my nice large image, and I do Command Creative, and I do Fade Image, and I just basically choose that. And what it does, it fades out the image, the edges here. Okay. I then save this as a PNG file because I want to maintain the transparency around the edges. So what Fireworks allows me to do, I can go in here and choose PNG 32. And I'll just do File Export. And what I'll do is export that as a, a PNG file, which I did here already. So then, if I go back over to my Adobe Illustrator um, brochure, I can do File, Place, 
grab that image that I just created in Fireworks. So here's the image. So it's you can see the transparency. It, it maintains the, the transparency so you can sort of see through it. So what I'll do is I'll kind of play with it. I'll scale it down a little bit. And then I'll change, I'll lower the opacity. So let's take a closer look and see what we got here. So as you see, we have our nice blue wavy line here. And then we have the dance floor effect, uh, which looks like the bottom of the floor effect. And this was all created just grabbing images from iStock Photo and um, using them, um, creating transparencies or PNG file transparencies in Fireworks and then importing them into Adobe Illustrator. The other thing is uh, let's see if we go see these little images here same thing what I did was I was I created these images in fireworks first like this and you might be able to see here I have an image and then I have these uh, these these little moving parts here so these little graphics were first created in fireworks you can create them in Photoshop and then the background is an actual um, what I'll do is I'll save this off I'll save this image off as a as a PNG file but first what I'll do is I'll let me uh, make the make the background black just so you can see what I'm working with if you notice these images are sort of slanted so what I'll do is I'll come here I'll group them all and then I'll just get my little scaling tool my, and it's just distorted a little bit like this okay and then I'll just make the canvas uh, transparent and I'll, I'll save this off as a PNG 32 file. Again, I'll do File, Export, and I'll save it off. And I already created four or five of these here, which, which I'll go over to Adobe Illustrator. And I'll do File, Place, and let's just grab this one. So I place that one right here in our canvas. I gotta scale it down now. So there you have it. And you have and you what you'll see is that if you look very closely, the edge edges here is a little trans transparent. The opacity is a little low, so you can see through that, which gives it a nice effect. And I'll do file place for another one. Let's see, let's use this one here as an example. And the cool thing is once you place your PNG files and your images onto your canvas, you can kind of scale those around and play with them and it won't really lose its, um, its quality. The other thing I did, let's go ahead and grab some text here that I used on the other one. Just put my little text there and basically that's your brochure. And what you can do now before you before you actually export this to like say a PDF file and send this off to your printing company, what you want to do is make sure you you, you select you select each image and you do embed. You embed them. Just so if you want to send um, send your file off to your printer, they won't show missing files. You want to do an embed and then you create outlines for your text. Just do type, create outlines. Then once you're done, you just do file and you save off. You can save off as a PDF or you save it as a um, Adobe Illustrator file and you send this off to your printer. So and uh, you know once you get a little better at it, once you use those techniques, you can you can start doing a lot more with it, uh, creating shadows and things like that. 
Um, but basically, that's the, that's the basics, and that's how you use Adobe Illustrator and Fireworks uh, along with PNG files and to create nice, colorful uh, brochures. All right, hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, shoot me an email, mlock at mlwebco.com, and we'll talk soon. Bye.